Moogie! Mul... Mul... Mulcor... Mulcor... Zero Zero... Mulcoro? Asks, um... If you could go anywhere in the world to sample their local cuisine, where would you go and uh, what would you try? I actually saw that question beforehand and I uh, have thought about it for a long time and... Uh, 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 like an Aspie, I thought about it too long, basically. Because I like uh, it Italian food. So uh, my first thought was, oh, I could go to Italy. But Italian food is so easy to make and um, it doesn't take that many impressive ingredients. So you could basically make it anywhere. I've eaten Italian food in Sweden, you know, made it myself. Sure, it might taste different in a stone oven, it might taste different with uh, with fresh vegetables, but I could find that in Sweden, so going to Italy for that simple food feels wrong. So I thought, where would I go then? Where, wh like, what is the most difficult food to make that I can't do myself? Uh, the most difficult food wouldn't be like in France, where you, because I can make fancy French food. It just takes a while. the The most difficult thing would be something you don't know about. I would go to a place that have food that I've never heard about. Like I don't know, like Ireland have food there that I've probably never heard about. Iceland has food that I've probably never heard about. I, I'm guessing it's a lot of fish. I, I don't know. Um, any of the Arabic countries. I've never eaten Arabic food. I'm sure it's full of tasty different classical Arabic uh, dishes. So I would go to some place random and eat their food. Because that would be an adventure. Like Transylvania, I bet they have delicious food there. Especially now with all the tourists going there because, of, you know, it's Transylvania. It's also probably countries that you've never really heard of. Somewhere in Asia, somewhere, some, some very, very tiny country squished in between uh, the end of Russia and China or something. Where they just eat extremely spicy, raw, bull testicles or something although I wouldn't eat that <laughs> I, I ate goat testicles once though um, uh, you know not not raw and stuff it's not like I found a goat and whatever <laughs> uh, Akai 454 four, four, four asks you seem happier today and also enthusiastic okay I don't know why, actually. I, that was a good recording. I don't know. Uh, I'm glad that you're feeling... Wow, you, you wrote you with a capital U. Why? Um, that's a bit uh, too much, actually. I'm not I'm not your god or, or your, uh, your, your leader. You don't have to do that. Um, I'm glad you're feeling well. Well, I have Asperger's, and every Asperger's person seems to have things that they obsess over. Mine are robotics, electronics... Uh, mechanical systems, technology, science, blah blah blah. So, what are your asp asp aspy interest, Asperger's interests? I could swear I saw a video of yours, <laughs> yours a long time ago about electronics. Take care, man, and be happy. Um, and w I haven't made a video about electronics, but uh, have well, I do like ele electronics, but it ele it's like I went to electronics like tech school. But that's not actually one of my interests. I'm just, you know, I'm a geek, is all. So I'm kind of good at stuff like that. But it's not one of my interests. I kind of don't even find it interesting. My interests uh, are uh, th theoretical quantum physics. I adore quantum physics. I can't do the math, but I really like quantum physics. I read books about it, and I never read books normally. Uh, I find out stuff about it. I, I, I go onto YouTube and I find lectures on quantum physics like I was in school still and watch them, like, you know, uh, hours on end lectures about quantum physics. 
if they had that as a class in my school, I would have been all over it. But they didn't. They had physics, and I actually uh, made my teacher I f ask him questions so often that he I forced him to go into uh, the topic of quantum physics, and he taught me some things. And he said that this is stuff that you shouldn't actually learn until you get up a couple of more years. Which I never did, because it's like after university or whatever. Um, yeah, where I learned how, uh, how, uh, how you know how, you <laughs> because when you learned about atoms during uh, 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 even physics school class whatever, just when you're learning about atoms, you 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 basically get the explanation that it's like a ball, and around it in a in an orbit goes a couple of balls of electrons, and that's not at all what it is. They're not balls, first of all. They don't go in an orbit. Well, I guess technically they do, but the orbit is like very, very complicated, and they don't actually move around like a circle. Uh, everything about it is wrong, and I, when I saw it, I thought like, hey, this looks like a planet with, you know, a moon. That's why they made it look like that, because it's something you can grasp. But in reality, it's something so meta that you can't actually uh, picture it in any way, you just have to understand it to know what it is, but you can't actually draw it very well. That's why they don't teach it uh, that early. But I wanted to know that stuff. I just sucked it up. That's my uh, that's my uh, that's my uh, special obsession. I have others like. Uh, uh, stand-up comedy and stuff like that. I know a lot of stand-up comedians. Not you know, not personally, but you know, I watch them, and so on. But quantum physics will always be my baby. Yeah. Also, a very long video. Uh, I mean, uh, rant uh, on a topic that they didn't actually ask for. They just asked me what it was. They didn't want to hear about quantum physics. But I could talk on hours and hours and hours and end about quantum physics because it's such a magical thing. With uh, especially the theor theoretical parts, you know, like what uh, time dilation and all that, you, the the possibilities of it. Uh, anyway, 